Kamala Harris is going to destroy the entire art world, destroy the music industry, destroy culture altogether with her unrealized gain stacks. Now, I don't care about Kamala. I don't care about politics. This is not a politics video. So what are unrealized gains? Well, let's say that you have a house. Let's say your father gave you a house and the house is worth $300,000. And you don't have anything else, hypothetically. You don't own anything else. This is the only thing you have. And in a 10 year period, your house goes up from $300,000 to $500,000. Now, you still don't own anything else. You still don't have any money. But technically speaking, you made $200,000 because the house went up in value. This is unrealized gains, unrealized profits that you now have. And according to this unrealized gains tax thing, I, I think now it's a 25% of something, whatever, it doesn't really matter. According to that, you will now have to pay 25% on your unrealized gains <laughs> to the government. So that's $50,000. Now, mind yourself, you don't own anything else. You don't have $50,000. So this means that you will have to borrow money in order to pay this $50,000 or sell the property altogether. And then you own nothing anymore. <laughs> and so this really doesn't make any sense. Now, why is this going to destroy the art world? Why is this going to wipe out everything in the art world? Let's say that you're an artist and you have 103 artworks and you've been dying to sell those artworks. You've been trying hard to sell them, but it's, it's just hard. It's not easy as an artist. So you have one of them three works, unsold art. You've spent five years on trying to sell this art and then suddenly out of nowhere, you, wait, you sold a couple of pieces at a thousand dollars, you know, like, so the, the price is at a thousand dollars approximately. And there's a gallery that suddenly out of nowhere, after five years of trying, after five years grinding on social media, after five years applying for all sorts of things, there's a gallery that's interested. And now they show your work in a solo exhibition. This is it, you think by yourself. This is going to be the most amazing thing ever. Finally, I will start selling art. Not only that, the gallerist told me that they will be selling the art at $5,000 so that they can take 50%, so that's $2,500. And then I have $2,500 per piece that they sell. Wow, $5,000. I didn't even thought that my art was this valuable. <laughs> and so this gallery now has this solo show. And lo and behold, during the solo show, against all odds, Three of your artworks sold. Three artworks at $5,000 a piece. You can't believe your eyes. You can't believe your ears. You just, this is the best day ever. $15,000. You get $7,500 of that. And you have still 100 artworks left in your studio. Technically speaking, those artworks are now worth $5,000. Technically speaking, you have $400,000. It goes from $100,000 because you have 100 works at $1,000 a piece to $500,000, 100 works, $5,000 a piece. Technically speaking, technically speaking, you have $400,000 in unrealized profits. <laughs> it's crazy. I know it's crazy. You have $400,000 in <laughs> unrealized profits, unrealized gains. And now you have to pay 25% tax. <laughs> it's insane. It's, it's literally insane. You have to pay 25% tax. So that's $100,000 on this $400,000. And we, <laughs> it's just a joke. I don't, I can't take this serious, but this is in the proposal. I can't take it serious anyway. So now you have to pay $100,000. You have to pay $100,000 in unrealized gains tax to the government. But you don't have that. You can't just randomly sell the art at $5,000. Unlike, for example, stocks. Stocks you could, you could sell, technically speaking. But you, you can't just sell that art. You know how hard it is. 
And so what happens is now that you have to pay that, the bailiffs come knocking at your door, asking for their money. Give us the $100,000 and you say, but I don't have any $100,000, so like, I, I, I can't. Please take the art, take 25% of the art and, and then sell that to, to pay this unrealized gain tax. And then they will tell you, well, we can't do that because we recognize the art as an asset so that we can take taxes from it, but we don't recognize it as tax collection stuff. And so you will have to give us your car, you will have to give us your house, you will have to give us your daughter. And then you're complaining that they think that your daughter is only $50,000 worth and now you're competing with them. Like, no, she's worth more and the whole thing is going crazy and you can't pay the $100,000 because you never sold these 100 artworks. You never did that. And so this is the direction that we're going in. Now again, I don't care who you vote for. I don't care, like, I, I couldn't care less. I don't even live in America. So the title is, should actually be, Gamela is going to destroy the art world in America and the music industry in America and everything in America. And so what is going to happen? The art world is just going to go towards Europe and China. Europe and China will have everything. They will have all of the culture and America will not have music, will not have art, will not have all of those interesting cultural elements. That's all I'm saying. Culture cannot survive unrealized gains tax. That's it. Now the tax professionals, which is not me. You don't have to listen to me. I'm not a tax professional. The tax professionals will say, well, Dries, it is not correct what you're saying because they are not planning to install this unrealized gains tax for everyone. They are just going to do it to the upper elite, the super rich. They're not going to do it to everybody else. And so these artists, they are not going to suffer from this. Now, to those low level thinkers who don't understand anything about history, who only understand something about taxes, who never think more than their own little field cocoon, who never read any books on history, to those people, this is not how it works. First, they introduced the income taxes to the super rich elites. And then 20 years later, they said, well, let's do it for the super elite, but also for the people right under there. And then 20, 30 years later, they said, well, let's do income taxes for everyone. And now everybody is paying in income taxes. And so this is how it goes. They first introduce it to the upper elite and then they say, well, we can't just tax them, we have to tax everybody else. And so this is coming. If we allow this to happen as a society. And America is obviously taking the lead for a lot of other Western countries. If we allow this to happen, then culture will be wiped out. And so what are you gonna do about it? Some people will vote, I couldn't care less. What you need to do about it is figure out how to sell all of your art before this whole thing happens so that you can sell it all and have all of those profits before the whole thing falls apart. You can do that by downloading the free PDF guide for art fairs on how to sell your art on those fairs. A lot of those tips apply to everything else as well. And so this is free, link in the description, it's free. What more can I do? That's it. get the hell out of here.